Hiroshima Day is observed every year on August 6th to promote peace politics and raise awareness of the effects of the bomb attack on Hiroshima. Hiroshima city was attacked by an atomic weapon that killed thousands of lives instantly on August 6th, 1945. Today is the 76th anniversary of the atomic bombing of the Japanese city. It was the first city to be attacked by a nuclear bomb. An annual event takes place at the Galway Aliens War in Ayer Square, marking the anniversary of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the United States in 1945. Various programs are held to promote peace politics every year through music, dance and songs. In 1945, the United Nations of America deployed a nuclear bomb to the city of Hiroshima. This wiped out 39% of civilians in the city. The US created two atomic bombs named the Little Boy dropped in the city of Hiroshima and the Fat Man in the city of Nagasaki on August 6th and 9th respectively. This day plays a significant role as it focuses on anti-war and anti-nuclear demonstrations in many countries. On this day, people pay a visit to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum that archives the atomic bombing of Hiroshima in the Second World War. It reminds thousands of politicians, diplomats and envoys around the world that diplomacy is the only option while navigating geopolitics in the 21st century. The blast killed nearly 80,000 people with massive infrastructural damage. As per the official data, 69% of the buildings were destroyed. The Second World War, Japan was against America as its allies. As the Allies were winning the war, countries like China and Japan were pushed back from several locations. The Japanese soldiers treated the American and British Army very harshly, which resulted in a nuclear war. The little boy destroyed buildings within the radius of 2.5 kilometers. Thousands of people were killed and severely injured with a sickening effect at a later period of time. During World War II, Japanese fighters deployed kamikaze tactics and pilots would undertake suicide missions to hit US warships directly to prevent more damage from such attacks and force Japan to back down. US President Harry Truman authorized the use of one of the most devastating